A vicious twister rips through a small town, destroying everything in its path. We are in the, we are in the Rice, Texas is a quiet country town located 45 minutes outside of Dallas. Eric Myers is an emergency manager and tornado spotter for Navarro County. He pinpoints extreme weather before citizens get caught in the danger. I think my fascination with the severe weather just comes from the raw power, uh, being there with the nature, uh, the aspect of it, and, and feeling that the real force, uh, there's just nothing like it. On this day, Myers is surveying the area for possible severe weather. However, nothing will prepare him for the storm he's about to face. Uh, we do have occasional severe weather events here in late October, uh, but it was just kind of one of those things that I wasn't expecting personally. I knew there was a slight chance out there, but I certainly was not expecting the type of scenario that we had that day. Out of nowhere, a tornado develops. We're gonna get real close on this one. Myers drives alongside the tornado, tracking its swift progress. He updates the National Weather Service with the twister's path, trying to predict where it will turn next. This was a nice cone tornado, uh, just perfect with the sun behind it. While doing the normal storm spotting uh, activities and watching the storm to the west, uh, I continue to travel northbound to, to kind of parallel the storm. Uh, trying to get a better vantage point, trying to get communications out to our spotters. Meanwhile, storm chaser Jason McLaughlin is tracking the tornado a few hundred yards south of Myers. That day, the way the situation was with the severe weather, I didn't expect to see tornadoes, especially of this magnitude. Wow. And it, the first storm started to form and it started to attain the supercell characteristics pretty rapidly. That's when I grabbed my camera and left. The community of Rice is greatly in danger. It will be hit. McLaughlin Rice films and hit. watches in amazement as the tornado knocks over train cars like dominoes. As the tornado starts to come through Rice, I'm looking down, I'm recording, and I see a train start to get tipped over, and it blows it completely over. And I'm just looking at this with just pure fascination of, you know, wow, this, this is really happening. The tornado heads east toward a nearby school, sending massive amounts of debris into the air. Only a few hundred feet away, Eric Myers has stopped his car on the highway. Myers sees the tornado abruptly change course. It heads straight at him. He holds on for the ride of his life. I think that's when it hit me uh, that, you know, this is gonna be a rough ride. As the twister bears down, 150 mile an hour winds tear the roof off the school. Debris flies through the air. There is no end in sight. You know, it's really not like a freight train. It was really like being in a jet engine. The sound, the wind, uh, you know, actually coming through the vehicle. It was so powerful in many ways. The tornado has touched down 100 yards away from Myers, ripping through everything in its path. Uh, pieces of wood, pieces of roof, pieces of dirt just everything that was actually in the tornado itself, in the vortex, uh, suddenly became very clear. And there's just really no words to describe it. The smell is a musty smell almost, and uh, you know, it's just one of the things that you'll never forget. Myers has nowhere to hide. The tornado is closing in. 